TV! TV! If you are a fan of softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. We're bringing you more interviews, more videos, and more product reviews than anyone else on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fast Pitch TV Show. Now, if you found our show on Facebook, MySpace, or another video sharing site, please check out our website, fastpitch.tv. Not fastpitchtv.com, just fastpitch.tv. It's the place to find all of our past episodes and the place to keep up with our future episodes, too. You know, we come out with a new show once a week. I'd also like to thank our sponsor, Softball Junk. Please visit their website at, well, softballjunk.com, of course. Now, before I go to today's show, I want to tell you about another new website I've created for you. Now, the name of this website is 100softballdrills.com, and it is going to be a great website for softball. Now, what I'm trying to do here, the concept is I'm trying to get 100 great softball coaches from all over the country all to donate one softball drill to use on this website. So when it's over with, it'll be 100 softball drills by 100 great coaches. Now, this is going to take quite a while to get all 100 drills. I have to contact all the coaches one at a time, explain to them what I'm trying to do to get them to donate a drill, and I'm finding out I'm having to contact them multiple times. So it's going to be a slow, slow process. Probably going to take months, if not the whole year, to get all 100 drills. But when it's finished, it's going to be a great resource, a free resource for coaches and players alike to use. So go take a look at it at www.100softballdrills.com and see what you think. Now in December, I went to the National Convention for the NFCA, and that stands for the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association. Okay. Now if you're not familiar with that organization, the NFCA, you really need to check them out, and you might want to visit their website right away at www.nfca.org. If you're involved in softball in any way, shape, or form, I say this every week, you need to check them out. Now, while I was at the convention, I interviewed the head coach of the UCLA Bruins softball team, Coach Perez. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, UCLA won the NCAA Women's College World Series last year under Coach Perez's leadership. And unless you've been living under that rock and you're a softball fan, you know that. So let's go to that interview right now after a word from our sponsor. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. Kelly, thank you for joining us. I know you just got through with the session here. All right, I'm, I'm glad to thank you for taking the time out Excellent. to talk with us. Now, first of all, if we do anything, I want to say congratulations on your year this year. I think in that final series, I saw the best softball game I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you know, it was, um, it was a magical moment, but I think ultimately uh, my team was in a great place. We had prepared to be able to get to that moment. Um, we were facing a great opponent, and, you know, the energy, the excitement, the atmosphere, um, everything just allowed for a wonderful finish, and um, I'm very proud of our girls, very, very proud. Now, let me ask you a question on when you get about your, your team in general. Is there anything you did specifically to say that helped you get to that moment? Um, you know, I, I really got to a point where I just trusted the, the players. I trusted my coaches and I trusted my players that, uh, that our culture was strong. Ultimately, that uh, every person in this program uh, mattered in the Bruin family. And, you know, we also really focused on being able to compete. Our competitive excellence was a little bit of John Wooden. And um, there were some things that happened during that tournament. You know, he went in the hospital and, um, and he was with us. There was, a little, there was a little Bruin magic on that day. Um, but our culture was strong and we competed. And ultimately, um, with that focus, we were able to get out there and just play great softball. I had a really good time doing it. Well, you're the third head coach of uh, the Bruins I've interviewed. And I can say one thing about you Bruins, you stick together, you're, you are a family. It's not just you guys play some ball, you guys do work as a family. Is there anything special that started that or keeps it going or is it just 
part of the deal. Well, you know, we have, we have a couple things. You know, our philosophy is brewing family first. Family comes first, then school, and then softball. And it's it's a lifestyle that we practice. Um, every every coach in the Bruin history has played in the uniform, has won a championship, and then has graduated from the university. So um, for us, the history and tradition, we take a great deal of pride because we helped create it. Um, and then and then beyond that, like I said, the most important thing is it's a lifestyle. It's not a job for us. So we love each other beyond just our wins and losses, and that helps create a very strong culture within our program. Now a lot of our viewers are players or parents of players that want to go to school and they want to play in ball and let's say they want to play for you. What's the best way for them to be seen by you? What would you say, this is probably your best opportunity of me seeing you? Um, you know, I think there's a lot of opportunity. I travel um, all over the world. You know, people may think that we recruit predominantly out of California. Um, well, you know, I think every university likes to likes to to keep a lot of their local talent home. But for us, we've recruited players from different countries, from Canada to Australia, um, and from coast to coast. So we get out there and we recruit. Um, for the players, you know, they've got to get to some of those showcases to be able to have an opportunity. But I think the best opportunity for them to be seen is to create a videotape and send it across, put their best clips together of what makes them special, and send it to, to the top 20 schools in the country that they're interested in, and they can get a, a, a direct, um, they can, they can directly get the information to the school and then hopefully get feedback on where they stand um, in the recruiting process. Okay, talking about these tapes, since you brought it up, and you've seen a lot of them, I bet. Yeah. I bet you've seen That's as right. many as anybody. What would you say is something about tapes that you say, I wish all these tapes, I mean, is there something you see a tape and you go, I wish they put this in there yeah. or that all tapes should have? I think it's their opportunity to show what, what makes them great. So their personal information for us, first thing I look at is their GPA. So for them to be able to, to uh, be able to make it, uh, sorry, get uh, accepted into UCLA is, is the number one thing. So for us, GPA, that should be the first thing. You know, what year they graduate, their GPA, some of the accolades that they've um, accomplished, but then the rest of it, the softball part, is their opportunity to go out and show off what they do best. And you can cut and splice, so show them your, your great hitting, show them your fielding, show them your throwing, show them your versatility, and have it be shorter. You know, we know one wants to see a 15 to 20 minute tape on, on an individual. So anything within that five to eight minute range showing their, their best qualities, um, I think is a great opportunity to get exposed. Because we don't have control over, I can honestly say, I, I can't be at every tournament across the country from um, our, you know, year round, it's just not gonna happen. So, and that's part of recruiting. It's a little bit of timing, a little bit of luck. Create your own luck. Okay, now this is a question I have. You get a tape, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of getting stuck on this subject, okay. but I'm sorry, but I'm interested in it. So okay. you get a tape and you see it, and this kid lives in South Dakota. I'm just using the state and uh, this kid can't come see you. So uh, is, there, is there anything that works where you have a chance to see the kid? Or? Absolutely, well we, I travel, I, like I was saying, I travel from coast to coast. So there's tournaments in Florida, there's tournaments in, in New Jersey, there's tournaments up in, in the Northwest, and there's also tournaments right there in Southern California. We go to Oklahoma, I mean, yes, we travel So all the main over. thing is, get in front of you, is well, what you're saying. There's showcases, the showcase tournaments and the tournaments that are bigger, you know, when there's a lot more opportunity for us to be able to pick a tournament when there's a lot more. And, and that's part of recruiting. You know, you want to you get on the teams that can get to the point where they can get to the end of a tournament. That just allows you to be to get more exposure, more games in, um, ultimately to get to the bigger tournaments. Um, and those are identified, you know, from coast to coast. There's tournaments every weekend that conflict. A big part of that is you can get on the websites and find out what colleges are attending, or you can pick up the phone and, or, or email the coaches to find out where they're going to be. Um, but ultimately, get out there. You know, I think that's what travel ball is about. Is there's, there's a great opportunity for you to get exposure um, year round. Well, let's get to your team now. Okay. When you have a new team every year, you get new players in. You're developing, making them fit your system, mm -hmm. getting them in there. Is there anything that, on a normal basis, that you found is something? that players need more work on coming into college? You go, you know, we keep running into this over and over, or is there anything like that? Well, I think college is, is the opportunity to really, to take, you know, every part of their game to the next level, but the biggest part of college is being able to manage your time, being able to figure out how to work out, do school, socially, have fun, um, all of these things combined, it, it, it's, it's time management to be able to be great at everything. And a big part of that is being able to keep their priorities straight. You know, for us, we help define it for them in our philosophy. You know, our family, how we support each other is the most important. And then, you know, school is 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 the next. It's that's the next most important thing. And then softball is the fun part. So I strongly suggest that time management, keeping your priorities straight, and then ultimately, that's what college is about. You're going to continue to learn more, get bigger, better, stronger, and then ultimately, your goal, the goals that you set and what you actually accomplish, is going to determine on your ability to continue to learn and, and your work ethic, all those things combined add for success 
um, both on and off the field. During your practices, team practices, is there anything that's a specific drill or something that's like your favorite thing to have those those players um, do? You go, this is what we like to do, and we uh, do it. I, you know, I love I just I love the sport, and I think the basic fundamentals of the sport, um, being able to execute the basic fundamentals of fielding, the basic fundamentals of throwing, and the basic fundamentals of, of hitting, those aren't fun, but it's it's the basic fundamentals that allow you to be successful on the big stage. So ultimately, for me, it's, it's really being able to pay attention to the little details of the game. And then when the, big, the stage gets bigger, then you just play it. So, you know, there's a lot of things. So that's, that's my job is to make it creative and try to figure out new things. There's all types of things, but it's really getting back to the basic fundament, fundamentals of the game. So then it becomes really fun later. And now this is a question I need to ask you because I just like to promote this. Okay. What do you think of the NFCA? Oh, you know, we're fortunate. I think we're, you know, the, it's run. Um, by people that are invested in looking out for what's best for the sport. Um, we're fortunate that we have a forum to be able to express um, what we believe can help the sport and things that we believe may be hurting the sport and be able to come together um, as an association throughout all divisions of the sport with one thing in mind. How can we continue to make this a better, um, a better for the future? So I think it's a wonderful thing. I've been a member for over 20 years and very proud of it, very proud to be a part. Love that there's a voice and a forum, but ultimately it's a great opportunity for all of us to get together away from the competitive field and kind of share thoughts and, and get refreshed. And ultimately, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's a lifestyle to be able to coach. What did you do, join when you were like 10? Well, I, I joined when I started coaching, and I started coaching over 23 years ago. So yeah, yeah so been we've, we've been able to we've been able to attend and, and just be a part, and, and ultimately hope that we can have a voice to be able to make sure that the sport continues to head in the right direction. I ask you one last question because I know you got Sue over there waiting, everybody waiting to get you. How are we going to do this year? How's uh, Bruins going to do this year? Well, the one thing that we learned is the most important part of success is being able to focus on today. You know, and Coach Wooden had told me the key to success is yesterday is as old as dirt and we have no control over tomorrow so we've got to focus on creating a masterpiece today so ultimately right now my team's in a great place we had a, we that, had that a, is some good advice absolutely. there that's probably some of the best advice i've absolutely. gotten out of all the shows absolutely. i want to thank you for taking the okay. time to talk with us all right thank you Take good care. luck to you this year thanks i appreciate it okay. i hope you enjoyed today's show it was great meeting coach perez and talking with her she is just a pretty dynamic person to talk to. Now, before I close today's show, I want to make sure that everyone knows we have an app for the iPhone and for the Android phones. Just go to your phone's app store and search Softball, and you'll find it, okay? It's a Fast Pitch TV show app, of course. Now, don't forget to check out our website, like I told you earlier, at FastPitch.tv. Become a fan of the show on Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook, so become a fan of the show on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Fast Pitch TV, and you can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Fast Pitch TV. Now, before I close today's show, last week I asked everybody to tell a few friends about us, and a lot of people must have. We got a lot of new fans on Facebook. So I'm asking you again for the second week in a row go tell three of your friends on Facebook. I don't care if you message them, post it on their page, but tell them somehow about the Fast Pitch TV show. Facebook page, which like I said earlier, is facebook.com slash fastpitchtv. But help spread the word about us. We do this show for you every week. Help us grow, okay? We're trying to break the 10,000 fan mark, and we're right around 6,000. We've got a long ways to go, but we're getting there, so help us out. Okay, and that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching.